Hello, thank you for watching my video. My name is Armando Rodriguez. I'm coming to you with our Boost of Survival. Basically, for those of you who don't know what our Boosto means, it's it's a Spanish word for bushcraft. So, just wanted to clarify that. Another thing, this is actually a video about my, what some people would call a get, uh, get out of dodge bag. Some would call it a bug out bag. Another would call it a get home bag. Um, I like to just prefer to call it as a get out of dodge bag. I'm trying to get out of wherever I'm at. Uh, and get into my own safer zone where I can build my shelter or I can maneuver around wherever I am and actually get away. Now, with this bag, I have purchased the 511 Tactical Rush 72. I am a fan of uh, 511 products. I think they're very awesome. They look they look phenomenal in my opinion. I really love them. Uh, very sturdy and very, very well built. Now, one thing I do want to say before I start this video is I want to tell you guys a little bit about myself. For those of you who don't actually know me, I have a background in hunting and fishing. Uh, ever since I was a kid, I grew up in New Jersey. I was born and raised in New Jersey, actually, excuse me. I grew up with my father hunting in different uh, lands, such as in New York, New Jersey, and uh, surrounding areas. I also grew up fishing, so I have some some experience when it comes to fishing and you know trying to sustain myself uh, with food. Another thing I do want to say is, I have a very, very extensive background within technology. Uh, ever since I was nine years old, I started fixing computers, and then I ended up moving up into cell phone repairs. I started getting into tablets, iPhones, Androids, and stuff like that. Now, one thing I did with what well, I'm actually recording this video from my uh, Samsung Galaxy Nexus, and one thing I did to it is I like to, I have a thing where I like to actually modify my system because I don't like what I get from the factory, for example. Uh, you like if I sold you a Samsung Galaxy S4 right working at Verizon like I used to you're gonna have just what's on that phone but what I did was I got into it deeper and actually uh, ended up changing up systems on my phone so I could actually improve my performance my battery life uh, such and such so with that being said what I did is I actually modified my phone so I could actually have a far more extensive amount of battery life and I also have an extra battery so it gives me about triple to quadruple the time that I could actually use with about one or two batteries so I basically doubled it another thing I downloaded an application called uh, map with me basically what it is it's an offline uh, map you download it to your phone as an application it's a pretty big file but then you actually start downloading uh, different states so you can download for example if you live in the United States but you want to go let's say from Florida to New Jersey and you want to go driving you don't have a cell phone plan, you don't have a phone in general that you could use to access the internet on the road, or you don't have a map. Easy. You download the application, uh, excuse me, map with me. You download the, all of the actual states along the way, for example, New York, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, uh, Virginia, uh, Georgia, Florida, everything. And it actually gives you access while you're offline. In other words, you're not connected to the internet. You can actually see what's there all the rest stops, all the restaurants, anything you need completely. So I found that as a personal benefit for myself. Uh, I tend to carry my phone with me in my, my uh, bug out bag, if you want to call it. And basically from that is how I'll be uh, maneuvering. I'll actually be setting up different pinpoints for places I would want to go, places I feel are, are not compromised by others, or places I feel in safe where I can meet up with other friends and we can take on from there. So with that being said, this is actually a video about my quote-unquote bug out bag or if you want to call it my get out of dodge bag or simply my get home bag. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Alright guys, what's up? This right here is my 511 Tactical Rush 72. Uh, it's a Sandstorm Edition. Very nice. I like the Sandstorm uh, ever since I ordered my Moab 10. I don't have the Moab 10 at the moment because I did sell it, but I'm trying to, you know, uh, get rid of more and just have one bag so I can carry it quicker, I can access it faster and I don't have to worry about having two bags. In the end, you're going to feel a lot of pains on your lower back if you don't have a strong core in order to sustain the weight of both bags. So I try to keep it simple, I'm only going with one bag for now. If I do feel in the future that I want to upgrade and I need that more space, I'll probably invest in a Moab 10 again and I'll have one and I'll go ahead and attach it here. One thing I do want to point out the Rush 72 only comes with four straps, two up here, two down here. Now, that's made so you can actually compress or you can withhold this administrator pouch against the Rush 72 itself. If you notice, I have a total of four extra right here. One, two, three, four. 
Okay, these are four extra straps. Now this actually came with the Moab 10. It's the uh, 511 rush tier system and what this is built for is you can actually uh, mount your Moab 10 to your Rush 72 going downwards and then across. Like I said, I didn't want to have two bags on one so I just figured, you know what, let me just get rid of the Moab and I'll stick to this. I'm going to go over a lot of features that I have in here, uh, a lot of extras and you're going to notice that I have sometimes multiple of a certain uh, item uh, such as my sheltering. I have multiple uh, forms of shelter. I have multiple ways to make a fire uh, to keep myself, you know, if I had to chop down wood, obviously I only have uh, one knife at the moment. I'm going to invest in more um, and basically take it from there. Like I said, some of these things you're going to see multiple of. It's not going to be the same one. For example, you're not going to see uh, multiple of the same knives. It's going to be different knives. You're going to see multi-tool, uh, my sunglasses, different things like that. So let's go ahead and get into the actual bag. Like I said, I have four straps, okay? So that's this. And then you have your compression straps. My bag isn't honestly that heavy, excuse me. Um, it's a very big bag, I'm going to admit that. It's very comfortable though, the way 511 actually made the padding on this bag, it's not something you're going to feel a lot, like it's not going to uh, dig into your body frame, nothing. It's it's very, very solid built, very well, it's a very phenomenal bag. And if you look at the bag itself, you can either see a review by me, or you can look up a review by anyone else. It's a very recommended bag in my opinion within the, what you would call the, prep, the prepper network, um, or the preppers community. So, like I said, let's go ahead and get into the bag. As most of you know, you have two main pouches on the side to stash some stuff if you like. I use them for two things. Both of them, okay, both of them have a water source, okay? I have in this one on my left hand side, I have a camel bag. This is 750 milliliters of water. It's for quick access to water. Uh, I have to eventually incorporate more places for me to store water inside this pack. I haven't taken advantage of the compartment where you put a, a bladder. I don't have a bladder system at the moment. I do want to invest in one though. In here, I also do have uh, two simple protein bars, you know, just in case I need to get some quick energy uh, if I haven't had anything to eat. And I know it seems relevant, but this is uh, basically a reflective tape. It's a belt. You wrap it around yourself in case. Um, what I'm actually going to do with this is I'm actually going to try and figure out what I can use it with, or if let's say um, you know I'm bugging out and I have someone else with me, and it's nighttime, but I don't have any way to be able to see them because it's dark. Maybe I want to integrate this uh, into you know the bag or some some type of way around the clothing, around the waist, around the chest, their leg, somewhere where if I reflect my light over it, I'll be able to tell, hey, look, they're right there. Or if you know we're going out at night and we're trying to get some food and. We're both going to have one on, you know, in case we both have flashlights, we'll both be able to spot each other. We'll know who we are, and we'll be able to take it from there. So that's literally everything in here. I don't have a lot, at least in that compartment. Let's go, let me go ahead and close that up. Now, in my administrative, immediately you're going to see I have two patches. Uh, you know, it's just for looks at the moment. I have my Sierra patch. And I have my don't, don't Tread On Me patch that I did, uh, I bought at the uh, local Miami gun show. I have an extra patch that says Infido. It's a pretty cool looking patch. If anybody wants it, go ahead and let me know. I'll go ahead and send it out to you. I don't have any use for it. Personally, I feel like if I wore this and it said Infidel on my bag and, you know, I'm bugging out. Somebody would probably think of me wrong. Uh, they'll think that I'm probably against their religion or whatever it means. So... I just don't want to have that on my bag. I feel like the word itself is going to attract a lot of uh, attention for myself. Outside, I have quick access to a lighter. I'm going to make a separate video of a trick that you guys should all do to your lighters. Because if anything happens, it's going to help you out quick, okay? You don't have to worry about, you know, pressing down or struggling to actually light it. It's so easy a kid can do it. Guys, keep it away from a kid, please. <laughs> okay, I have an extra carabiner here. It has up to uh, 80%. Excuse me, 80 pound weight support. And then let me go ahead and actually open up my administrator pouch. Now, immediately, I have a little uh, hoodie. Uh, excuse me, a beanie if you want to call it. I have my multi-tool. Now, this is actually attached to the key ring that comes with it. 
I'm figuring, you know, it, it's just gonna give me quick access. My multi-tool is a Gerber suspension. Now, the best thing about the, Ger the Gerber suspension, let me get a close-up on it, is the fact that it actually has, you know, as the name is, a suspension. So if I press down on something, look, it's gonna immediately open on its own. So I don't have to worry about pressing it, then opening it, pressing it, opening it. Uh, it has a, a variety of extra, you know, little knives. You have a regular knife, you have a little saw, you have um, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a uh, little uh, saw as well, like I mentioned, and quite a bit more features. Like I said, it is a very, very good multi-tool. A lot of people do have it, it's very compact. And it feels good to have now. If you need it for self-defense by any chance, you know, if it ever comes down to that, it's very good, okay? Look, you can completely wrap your hand around it. If you give somebody a punch with this, I guarantee you, you're probably going to lay them out because, you know, you could use uh, a lighter for self-defense as well. Believe it or not, this is actually a trick that I learned in school. You take the lighter, okay? Okay, I probably shouldn't be telling you guys this in, in, the, in my video because it doesn't have anything to do with the bag. But it's something good that you can always have a, multi, uh, a different use for a lighter itself. You take the lighter, you put it inside your palm, just completely wrap your hand around it. Now notice my fist is completely flat. Okay, if you hit somebody with a flat fist, trust me, that's going to hurt a lot more than just a fist that, you know, somebody probably doesn't even know how to make properly. It's going to be a far more uh, damaging impact. So that's that. You have, you know, two different uses that you can use completely for a multi-tool or you can use for your lighter. That's that. This right here is just a little microfiber in case I want to clean my glasses. I have multiple around the bag uh, just incorporated into different ways. Up front, excuse me, let me see. Okay. Up front, the admin pouch on the actual uh, flap that comes, I have multiple things. I have a wristband that actually... Uh, it's an insect repellent. It hits up to 200, 200 hours. So if I wanted to, you know, be out there and I don't want mosquitoes, flies, anything, just completely take it out the pouch, wrap it around my wrist, you're good to go for 200 hours. I don't think I'm going to work consecutively within those 200 hours, but I'll definitely, you know, probably wear when I'm asleep if it's a very humid uh, environment such as here in South Florida. Uh, the Everglades, for example. So it's it's a good investment. You could probably find it from about 50 cents a pop to a dollar. Um, I think you should probably invest in a few of these because if you don't have bug spray, you don't have anything like that, what's what's a little pouch gonna you know take up? It doesn't even weigh anything, it's it's close to nothing. It's it's good to have, it's gonna help you out in the long run. Okay. I have a little compartment with some basic band-aids. Uh, this is just for quick access, and then I have a box cutter. This is a bit more for finer cuts. If I have to cut anything small, I have to open something, I have an actual box cutter and then I have some backup blades okay so that's that I also do have let me see in this compartment I have nothing and in this one again some more bars just like so I have you know extra food source if I want to grab them quicker uh, here's an extra set of uh, protein bars let's see what else we have okay that's for the front panel itself and this I picked up at a local, I'm sure you can pick it up at Walgreens, uh, Walmart, any local drugstore, or any uh, store such as Family Dollar, for example. This one, I have two of these. This one's my little first aid kit. I left it exactly how it is. I don't feel like I should, you know, put anything else into it because it's just for basics. If I have to, you know, if I got cut with something small, nothing, you know, radical, I have every single way I need. You know, I have disinfectant wipes, I have alcohol swabs, I have band aids. I'm good, okay? So that one, I left exactly how it is. I, because I do have two of them, I did mark it. I put mini FK, FAK, excuse me, first aid kit, and then a little uh, cross, okay? Then I have another one, which is a bit heavier, but this one is for fire starting, okay? So when I open this one immediately, I have two tabs of wet, wet fire, okay? And I have an Altoids uh, tin, okay? So I put the Altoids tin inside that one. Now, why I did this? I guess you would say that I have it for extra security against water. I did have it duct tape because it is a little thick. But what I did was so I don't have to, you know, if I have to build a fire quick, I don't want to, you know, start peeling away with my nail and trying to get the duct tape out because you're, you're wasting time, you're wasting energy for no reason. So what I did was in order to save myself the headache in the future, I actually... I duct taped it, but at the bottom part where I, you know, I lay it across and I leave it, 
I actually folded it twice, so it gives me a little handle on here, okay? So I can just, instead of me having to peel, I just completely, look, look how easy that was. That was quick, simple, no effort, no wasted time, okay? I have extra wet fire in here. I have quite a bit of wet fire, so I, I figured, you know what? What the heck? I might as well just have them in here. I have them in all, one spot. I have these little things that came with, um, excuse me, an SOL basic survival kit. It, it came with, an emergency blanket, a fire starter, a compass, a whistle, and a signal mirror. I took it out completely and I arranged everything else in its, you know, corresponding locations. In here, like I said, I have multiple wet fires, I have an extra lighter, okay? And then I have a little thing where I could create sparks, okay? So that's gonna help me out if anything. Let's see, let me put this back, okay. All right, that's that. Give me a second, guys. I'm sorry. All right, there we go. All right, now for everything else, I don't have anything in the bottom. I have a large sharpie in case I have to mark anything. If I have to make a, a little sign or something, it's a large uh, sharpie. Probably have a few uses for this. Uh, if you want to mark something, if you want to mark a tree, uh, you want to mark directions on, like for example, a branch, anything that has to you know, help you get to a certain place, you want to make a sign in general, anything. Like I said, what can you do with a Sharpie? That's up to you. I have here a carpenter's uh, pencil. Basically, this is a multiple use pencil. Uh, in case you break the actual lead point, you can just take a knife, completely sharp it. You have a reusable pencil once again. It's pretty long. And it's very, very good. I've used these multiple times with my father doing handyman work, which is another thing I have background in. I have background in handyman work, so if I had to build myself a shelter or I had to fix up a place so I can live in it and sustain myself, uh, my friends, my family, anybody, I'm completely, perfectly set, okay? So that's that. I have in here a fine point Sharpie, uh, just as a regular pen. I need to write something down quick. I need to write a little letter, anything, a note. Then I have this. This is just a regular... Energizer flashlight uh, it's in the form of a pen. I figured, you know what, it's in there if I have to, you know, find something late at night and I have no, uh, I don't really want to seek a lot of attention from people who are around and I don't want to take on my flashlight and I don't want to use, you know, a, a high amount of candela. Boom, this is it. Keep it in my bag. It's very low, very subtle. Uh, a lot of people probably won't be able to see this from afar. So that's that's one benefit that I have for that. And then I have a quick set of just regular gloves. I can go ahead and attach them if I'm cold. Obviously, what you would use gloves for, right? Apart from that, I don't have anything in the front compartment, but uh, the, the Rush 72 has multiple pockets within pockets. It's, it's crazy. It's cool. I love it. Over here, I have a regular poncho, okay? This I can use as a regular poncho, you know, to keep myself from getting wet. I can wrap it around the bag if I have to keep the bag dry. Or if in general, I want to make a shelter from it. It's very good nylon. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it. I love it. Very compressed. I keep it in there. I feel like, you know what? It's an extra form of shelter. It's an extra form to keep me uh, dry from the water. It's, it's going to have a purpose for everything. And if I have somebody else with me, this is for them. I won't have a problem giving it to them. Because like I said, I do have multiple forms for shelter. I do have multiple ways to keep myself dry. So that's that. And let's go to the last one. Up here, I have a little headlamp. The what I like about this headlamp is, look, you have two uh, two lighting functions. You have LED or you have a red light. So if you wanna, you know, you don't wanna, uh, you wanna remain uh, least amount visible at night. Uh, just go ahead and activate the red light. You're set. Look, that's it. Cops use these, man. They use them just so you know, if they're in a patrol car and they're trying to stay, you know, under the radar. They're going to turn this on. You can't see a red light from afar. Animals can't spot you. Nothing. It's very good. Personally, I would rather have a multi-functioning uh, headlamp than one that I would have to use an LED and then purchase a separate one just for a red light as well. So it's it kills uh, two stones with one rock. Wait, I'm sorry. It kills two birds with one stone. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay. Here I also have a sewing kit. If I have to sew my clothes, anything that has a little, uh, you know, I've added a few extra things in here, a few extra buttons. I added a little scissor, a pin, a needle, stuff like that, so I can 
you know, keep myself good. I also do have some baby wipes in order I need to clean something. And I have a nail cutter and I have these go with my, my glasses. Basically, the extra uh, eye protection, you could change my glasses from black to white to clear if you want to see something regular during the day. Or if you want to make them into shooting range glasses, you go ahead and completely take them off and put the orange ones on there. So I like that a lot. One thing I like to emphasize that I think a lot of people should think about is your nails. Remember, your nails grow no matter what. If you have no way to cut them, it's going to be pretty disgusting. And I don't mean to be offensive to the people who like letting their nails grow. But I mean, personally, I like taking care of my hygiene. I like looking good as best as possible. So, you know, a nail cutter, it's not going to take up space. It's going to help me out. If I have to cut a fishing line, I've always done this with my dad. If my dad had to cut a fishing line, you know, off a hook or anything, just take the nail clipper. That's it. Boom. Done. Multiple purposes. It, it's good to have. It's not going to kill you. It's not, you know, a lot of weight. It's probably a few ounces, probably four or five ounces. That's it. It's not going to kill you, like I said. So that's that for my administrative pouch. Uh, here's my... Oh, another thing. The reason I did attach my multi-tool to the actual uh, key ring is because if I want to take it off, it's not going to be a problem. I can just put the multi-tool on my waist and that's it. Take it from there. I won't have to open my bag to access it. I'm probably not going to have this on my waist when, uh, I mean, excuse me, I might not have this on the bag when I'm actually out there. I want to keep it with me uh, as close to my person as possible so I can have quick, easy access and not have a single problem. So that's that. Let me go ahead and uh, take you into the rest of the bag. Now, here's the top compartment. This one has quite a few things, okay? I've thrown in different things in there just for, you know, sake of it. It's another quick, easy access pouch, okay? When I open it, as a lot of people do know, it has about three compartments. I have a, look, this knife, okay, it has serrated edge about, I'd say three-fourths of the blade is serrated, but the best thing about it, okay, excuse me, I bought this at Walmart for $2. If you need a quick little knife just so you can mess around, me, uh, not have a problem with breaking it, not fear about, oh man, I just broke my $350 knife, what am I going to do? This is what you want this knife for, to use for you know those type of things that you don't want to damage your more expensive or your more um your stronger knives your better quality knives excuse me so that's that that's what that's mostly for if i have to make a fine cut it is i believe stainless steel so i can use it for multiple things if i want to use it for let's say my first aid kit i have to cut somebody's wound open or if i have to you know cut uh let's say a blister anything that has to do on my body it's surgical steel if i'm correct i won't have a single issue okay so that's, that's one benefit of it. One thing I do like. Up here, I have a water... Excuse me. This is uh, from that kit I was telling you about that I purchased earlier. They came with the emergency blanket and everything. You could probably find uh, this kit at Bass Pro. I believe it was like $23.99, $24.99, funny thing. It came with a few things, very uh, useful things. Now, I took this and I used it for something completely else. The camera I'm using to film this goes in here, okay? It either goes in here or I can use this, uh, for example, if I want to store lint, uh, so I can uh, tinder, so I can make a fire really quick. I can have it in here. I won't risk it getting wet at all. Just completely snap it. Done. Look, no water is going to get in here. It's completely dry, safe, and I might not have any issues about, you know, my materials getting wet in the future, like I said. So that's that. Another thing I have is my charger, my USB cable backup. Uh, like I said, I'm using my phone as navigation. Now, in case an EMP does come, I, honestly, people are scared. As long as you're not grounded to the floor, you're not touching the floor or anything, you won't have anything to worry about. But, you know, I kind of see myself in an environment where I'll probably end up being inside a car or anything in my car or driving around. This bag stays in my car, okay? So I won't have to worry about an EMP messing up my electronics, nothing like that. Okay, so that's that's a benefit for me. I'm actually going to have this as one of the backup. Uh, I have here a bandana. Many of you know that a cotton bandana serves multiple purposes. You can use it for water filtration or you can use it, you know, just to keep the sweat out of your face or if you want to keep, you know, uh, keep it on your head, you know, to keep your hair back if you have long hair. However you like to use it, that's more than fine. You use it as you please. 
Everybody uses this thing in their own different way. I'll use this for water filtration. This one specifically, I'm gonna purchase an extra one so I can, you know, for example, have it on my head and keep my hair back or keep my head dry, okay? Or I can also use that as an Arctic necktie and use it to actually, you know, keep my neck chill if I have to, soak it in some water really quick, wrap it around, or I can dry somebody's wounds up. Multiple purposes, multiple uses. You can use it for whatever you like. Like I said, everybody uses it a different way. Try and use your gear or try and purchase gear that you know you can use in multiple forms. It would really suck to have one thing that you can only use for one thing, okay? So, like I said, try and, try and be diverse with it. Try and have a variety of things that can serve multiple purposes to help you benefit as well as whoever you are with. Remember, chances are you might be alone, you might be able to survive, but there's people out there who don't have the funds to put together a bug out bag or, or a get home bag whatever you like to call it. So they're gonna need some help eventually. Side so that, I have that. And then I have an extra little mat. This one I have inside a Ziploc. Uh, it, it's got the whole United States. It's pretty small, it's compact, I like it. I don't have a problem with it. I will probably end up purchasing a larger map to have as a backup. But remember, I'm trying to save space and I'm trying to use, you know, I'm trying to have the most I can. I have a little basic compass. I do have to buy another compass if I can get one. That also, that'd be really, really awesome, okay? This came with a little kit, the Survive Outdoors Longer uh, Survival Kit. So, you know, obviously, I purchased it. The kit, it came with a lot of benefits. Perfect. That was awesome for me. Up front, I have another Altoids tin. I have multiple Altoids tin, and I have an extra one that's going to be empty in case I have to store something else. Uh, this one, it's just got a quick lighter, okay? It's got a lighter I can access, a fishing kit that came with the kit. And crazy glue, in case I need to use crazy glue for anything else, if I have to tie something together, or excuse me, if I have to patch something together or for a wound, but this one's not for wounds, okay? So that stays together to save me some space. And then in here I have what else came with it, which I felt like taking it upon myself to actually, you know, not, I wouldn't say modified it, but I, you know, I put it together so I don't have to worry about it in the future of losing them or having them both in different places. I can wrap this around my strap and I can have it close to my frame or close to my upper body. So if I need it, boom, I just pull it, I blow on the whistle and then I have the signaling mirror, okay? There you go. Guys, if you're watching this, can you guys please save me? I'm trying to signal here. here. <laughs> just kidding. So that's that, okay? And I have about, I'd say 10 feet of duct tape. Now, for those of you who want to make duct tape like this where it's compressed, compact, easy to carry, it's not going to take up any space at all. What you want to do is you want to get an old ID, an old credit card, anything that's, you know, uh, plastic or in the shape of a credit card or whatever it may be, or it might be an old piece of cardboard that you want to use. All you got to do, instead of it going across, I mean, excuse me, instead of you going uh, horizontal, you want to go, you want to, uh, I'm sorry, instead of it going vertical, you want to go horizontal. You want to go around the length of the actual object because you save space and you get more real estate of duct tape in general, okay? So I probably have about six to eight feet in here. Not a much. If anything, I would say I have close to 10 feet. Okay, let's see. Then I have uh, some cocoa butter for my lips. Uh, it's just some regular, you know, for my lips so they don't get chapped, they don't get dried up. You know, this might not serve a lot of purposes, but you know, your lips are your lips. If they start getting chapped, they start getting very irritated and uncomfortable, it's gonna suck for you. So if you have no way to actually, you know, take care of your lips or take care of your skin, you know, it's not going to be a very pleasant trip, okay? So just just go the extra bit to have it because in the end, it's going to help you feel better and it's going to help you in, in the end feel better about yourself morally, okay? So like I said, I have that. And then in here, I have my passport. It's my passport if case anything happens, if, you know, everything go back to normal. I'm not going to throw all my forms of identification out because, you know, then I'll probably just be an alien and I won't have any way to prove my identity yet. I do have my no my social security number memorized and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, it's good to have it on a piece of paper that's official, government, you're all set, okay? So that's literally all I have here. I'm gonna take it to the side pocket. Now, in here, just to save space, what I did, excuse me, let me unbutton this. What I did was, uh, you know, every, okay, I'm gonna put it like this, I'm gonna open it first. Inside here, okay? If you hear it, there's a lot of stuff in there. What I did is, this is actually stainless steel. I bought this for one purpose and one purpose only. 
boiling water. This is going to be for me to, you know, disinfect my water or anything that has to do with water disinfection. I want to get a close up on this. What I did, excuse me, okay, inside here to save myself space so I don't have things, you know, offer one thing such as my, my uh, water purification, I want to have it all in one spot. So I have different ways. I have one, a life straw, okay. I have my life straw. This can, I believe it uh, filters up to 1,000 or 2,000 gallons. That's phenomenal. It's going to help you out in the long run by a long shot, okay? You don't have to worry about a lot. You can drink directly from the water source. No issues, no problems at all. Okay, I actually did something to my uh, life straw. I do want to point out. When you buy your stuff, I want to help you guys think that, look, you need to actually think about your stuff in advance and actually, you know, put some thought and effort into it. So what I did was, let's say I'm out at night, right? And I find the water source. Okay, I go to drink from it. And while I'm drinking, boom, I hear something, I drop my life straw. How am I gonna find it? Easy. Obviously it's blue, it's gonna stand out, but I took a little extra step. What I did was, I added reflective tape around the extra life straw, okay? So if you can see, I have right there and right there in the center. If I reflect over that, I'm gonna be completely set, okay? I won't have any issues, I can find it. Boom, good to go. So that's that's something I did just for myself so I could feel better about it. And then in here, I have some water purification tabs, okay? I have iodine, the normal, and I have an extra little lighter. Lighter, you know, just to make fire if I, can't, if I have to really quick, if I don't have my other lighters. But, you know, it's water purification, I can use it really quick. So that tends to stay in there. Excuse me for the noise, actually. Okay, so that's that. Then, on the side, I also have um, my toilet. I have toilet paper, you know. You gotta have toilet paper no matter what. I have two extra rolls of toilet paper that came with it. And then I have, uh, excuse me, my emergency blanket. My emergency blanket, it's quick access. If anybody's, uh, you know, uh, getting hypothermia or they're getting really cold or, or myself in general, if I need to get it, Quick access without going to my whole pack. I have it right here on my, my side. It stays at the top pack, uh, excuse me, at the top pocket so I can pull it out really quick. Have no issues, okay? So that's that. That's basically, let me move this aside really quick. That is my front one, okay? Then, let's see, all right, now we're gonna go into the actual main pack. Let me go ahead and take off the compression straps. Uh, let me turn this around really quick so you guys can get a, a quick look at my strap setup here what I have is this is where my glasses came in okay but since I want to have my phone quick access quick to me I'm gonna have it in here okay it's gonna be in here it's gonna stay protected from water I won't have any issues and like I said it's always gonna be close to my body and I won't ever have any issues in case I have to access it quickly I won't have to open my pack search for it here I have just a regular paracord bracelet uh, probably a few feet of uh, paracord as well and then I have an extra carabiner, and then I have my Phoenix LD22 flashlight, okay? I have multiple uses on here. I have low, okay? You have, look, let's have low, medium, bright, super bright, and then SOS if I have to signal for someone. So, like I said, a lot of things that I remain, I want to keep them quick to access to me, quick to my body, and then I have my little, it's going to be my little EDC knife, but also going to be my little defense knife. In case of anything, it's a quick Gerber Void. Very great material. Very good steel. I love it. And it's very good. Uh, I personally don't have any issues. I got this at Walmart for $20. It came as a kit. It also came with a little multi-tool that I have in here. Uh, I took that and I specifically added it to something else that you'll see in the future. So, like I said, that's that. And then here on the side, I just basically did it. I have my Gerber LMF2. Basically, what I did is instead of having it, you know, upright where the, the actual uh, handle, you know, you pull up like that, I want to have it as quick access so I can just completely take it out like this in one swift motion. So, like I said, it's easy. Boom, pull it out. That's it. I have it right there. So, that's quicker to me and I can access it on my right-hand side, which is my dominant side. Then I have on the left-hand side, I have some bug repellent. Uh, it's quick, like I said. I can put it on my hand really quick, spread it around. And then I have this. Uh, basically, what I do with this is this cable, my Gerber LMF2, it's basically a cut seatbelt, okay? You take this on a seatbelt, you rip it off, completely done. But another thing I did, like I said, I like to think about these things through. So I added a mini carabiner, okay? 
Uh, this isn't big. It's just basically so I can have this paracord handle that I built my, that I made myself, and I can grab it really quick. I can yank on it. It comes right out. Okay. It gives me a flexibility. I can move the the paracord any way I want. No issues whatsoever. Okay. So that's that. Now, by the way, I do want to point out I don't have the best bug out uh, bag. But honestly, this is for now, it's to help me sustain myself as best as possible if I was ever to have a situation in the future. So that's pretty much it. I don't have anything here. And another reason I did add these straps is because in case I do put anything here, I can have it, you know, I can have it safe. It's not gonna fall to the side. It's not gonna have any issues. Now, up here in the top pack, this is where I have my glasses. I have my uh, 511 Tactical Half Frame Caboose, which by the way, I am so far, I believe the only one that owns these. Uh, and I'm actually, but, well, I'm not the actual only one that owns these, but I'm the only one with the pair on YouTube, as far as I know, to make a review. So I'm gonna actually make a review about these soon. Uh, you guys are gonna see this. Uh, they're very good shades, I like them, uh, very comfortable, but they're not for me anymore. I don't really like them to the most like I used to, so I'm trying to trade these for a pair of Oakley gla uh, gas cans. If anybody's interested, feel free to contact me. I'll definitely be able to set that up. I have uh, an extra pair of neck strap. And then the pack itself. This is where it gets a bit interesting. Like I said, it's not the best pack, but it's my perfect, uh, my best pack so far. Let's see. Okay. Alright, here we go. Here, okay. What I did for this, like I said, I added a little old extra flashlight that I had just so I can, you know, look at night or I could find stuff that I have. I have another, that should be up here actually. I have another nail clipper as a backup. I have an extra flashlight. I have about 20 feet of duct tape, once again, wrapped around the credit card or an ID, okay? And then I have some, um, some little tea candles, okay? Regular candles, nothing big. A small knife this is the Gerber knife it's a compact one and basically what I did to this is if you see right here I added a key ring there was I added the key ring just to give me uh, you know around my pinky and I can have more control if I want to make a finer cut I'll have that extra uh, grip basically it's for my own comfort I won't have any issues and I'll you know it'll, it'll benefit me in the long run because I have a complete look you see it's completely around my pinky no issues nothing whatsoever boom make a fine cut Got a jab, anything. It's a small knife. I don't want to use it for jabbing. I want to use it for sm smaller things. Anything I have to, you know, finely cut. Uh, if I want to feather wood or anything, that's what I have this for. So, it's a nice little knife, personally. If you could get one, get one as a backup. Just so you can have as, uh, you know, like I said, for small things, you have to cut. Anything like that of its nature. So, that's that. One thing I have here in my pack that I see that a lot of people don't have is what you're about to see actually. Well, not yet, but in a few you will. I have, apart from all that, an extra sewing kit. Guys, remember, one is none, two is one, okay? If you have one item and you break it, you lose it, anything happens to the item, you're done, okay? Forget, forget a knife, forget a kit, forget anything you have. Try to have multiple of the same object for one reason, to sustain yourself longer if anything was to happen to the actual object. Always have a backup. That's the one thing you should always have. So it doesn't really kill you to have an extra little backup. It doesn't have to be, for example, it doesn't have to be the most expensive knife. It doesn't have to be the most expensive uh, pair of boots, the most expensive kit, anything. You just need to have a few forms to have, you know, multiple of the same object. I have about, look, I have an extra flashlight here. This is for my cycling, okay? I have multiple modes on here. Look, low, SOS, no, excuse me, stro strobe. And a regular low and, and a higher. Another little lighter, okay? And then here, this is what I see a lot of people don't have. Vitamins. Guys, your body can't perform right without the proper nutrition, okay? I'm not saying, you know, I'm a fitness guru or anything like that. But if you want to, you know, remain healthy without a food source, just take a vitamin. You'll probably be able to, you know, your body will perform a whole lot better. You'll be able to think clearer. Uh, you don't want to have the whole stress on your body. You're not going to mess yourself up. So I have a set of amino acids just to, you know, rebuild my muscles after, you know, I go for a long walk. You know, just to help me benefit because if I'm going for, like, for example, a five-mile trek to somewhere else and I'm done, I'm going to probably take some amino acids so, you know, everything I did with my legs, 
they can get stronger for the next day and keep developing and getting stronger and stronger so I don't lose any, you know, uh, support for my whole body. Your legs are everything. I'm trying to keep them, you know, as best as possible. I have here some uh, testosterone booster. Like I said, you don't need this stuff, but I personally feel like, you know, it would probably do me a lot of good. Uh, suffering from a, a morbid obesity, when you're, you're obese, you tend to have a lot more... Uh, you don't produce as much testosterone. So with this, it actually helps out a lot. It's not a, you know, like, um, it's not that fake stuff you buy at GNC or stuff like that. It's actually 100% pure organic. It's actually, uh, I believe, from sunflower. Uh, it's really good. You take about a teaspoon of this with about water, anything that you drink, trust me, you're going to be a whole lot better. It's going to help you out a lot, and it's completely organic, so nothing at all. I have some baby powder, uh, you know, just to put on top of a rash or anything on my feet at the end of the day, uh, keep them uh, dry or whatever. Now, this is what I was telling you guys about earlier. This is Analoop batteries, okay? For those of you who don't know about Analoop, I suggest you guys look into them and you purchase them as your battery source if, let's say, you have uh, double A's, okay? Double A's, triple A's. I'm not sure if they make triple A's, but look into them. It comes with a charger, okay, and it, it comes with four batteries within that charger. I used to work for a camera repair center. I have these as my backup uh, batteries. All my electronics that have batteries have Analoop. Now, you're probably thinking, why are Analoop so good or why are you recommending it to us? There's Duracell, there's Energizer, but no. Analoop, see, the benefit with Analoop is that they're actually uh, one of the only type of batteries that lose the least amount of charge over during a time, okay? They, they last so long, the lithium, let me see, I believe they're lithium ion, excuse me. Let me see. Well, they should be lithium ion, okay? And basically, with that itself, I mean, they're very great batteries. They're going to last you a long time. You won't have to worry about losing charge over a period of time, you know, without using the batteries or nothing like that. Worst comes to worst, uh, if you have a Nomad 7 as a solar charger, you can buy the little adapter for the batteries. Boom, you have an uh, additional way to actually charge your batteries. Which, like I said, is another reason I'm going to invest in a Nomad 7. So, like I said, I have extra batteries. That's going to be my backer for my flashlight. Anything I have that uses double A's. Then, I have um, this. Okay. This is a dry sack. It's a real tree camo. I could probably put something in here, like my clothes, some food, anything. Hide it. People probably won't be able to see it that great. So, I might be able to have, I might put something like a little reflective on a corner or anything. Or, or know exactly where I put this. Uh, then again, that's another use I can use for the Sharpie. I could store it, uh, my bag or something inside here and then use the Sharpie to mark exactly in what direction to go. You know, I mean, if I'm passing by a tree, I might want to make a little script or, or like a little fancy letter or anything that I know myself. I'm the one that made that and this is the area where my bag is at. So that's another reason for my Sharpie. That's another use for that. A little bit of more supplements. This is called L-carnitine. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, your body... Inside the fats, you have a lot of energy, but what happens is uh, what L-carnitine does, I'm actually going to read it to you off the back. L-carnitine has been shown uh, through clinical trials to support cardiovascular health by clearing fats from the blood and into the mitochondria, the energy powerhouse of the cells. Also, L-carnitine has also been shown to support muscle growth, weight management, and liver health. That That's very good, okay? Let me see. Excuse me. It also has amino acids within it that actually helps with the advanced liquid delivery system for optimal absorption. Like I said, it's for myself. I used to be big. I'm still quite a big guy. I'm not going to lie. All the energy that I have stored within my fats, if I take some of this, you don't even need to take, you know, like a whole gulp. It's just a little bit. Another teaspoon, you mix it with any type of drink. It's a vanilla flavor. It's not going to taste nasty. It's going to taste good. It will definitely help you out in the long run. It's good for cardiovascular health or uh, performing enhancement, okay? So if you're gonna perform longer throughout the day, take some of this on an empty stomach, take it from there. Or if you wanna use it the opposite way, take a little bit of this, have one, you're all set, okay? So like I said, supplements sometimes can be a very big lifesaver because if you have no way to eat, try and get some type of vitamins, uh, some type of like uh, nutrients into your body that will help you out in the long run. A lot of people do have one a day and stuff like that, great. Anybody who doesn't have vitamins, Look into them because remember, these things can help you survive. Everything you have inside your bag, but if you don't have the proper nutrients for your body to survive, you're done, man. I mean, you're going to start, you know, getting very dehydrated. You're going to get very fatigued. Uh, it's not going to help you out. Plus, with the benefit with, you know, vitamins, 
you have vitamin C in your, in your actual pack. It helps your immune system, uh, you know, build up and get stronger. You might drink some bad water uh, with other bacteria and stuff like that. Vitamin C is gonna help your immune system get a bit stronger. It'll give you a bit more, uh, you know, chances to fight off the, the the bacteria and stuff like that. Not guaranteed, but it's gonna help you out. And anything that helps you personally, physically, it's gonna help you out ten thousand times in the long run. Remember that, okay? So, like I said, I have a bit of supplements for my personal. Uh, for my personal stuff, like I said, I, I should have them. Just because I feel like it's going to help me perform better in the long run. Now, down here, I have multiple things. I took an old medicine uh, medicine bottle. and what I did, It's actually pretty long. I took it so I could store uh, my fire starting in here, okay? I thought, you know what? This would actually be the best place to put one in old medicine. Uh, you know, God, what are these things called? You know, just a... Uh, uh, I guess you could call it, uh, God, I'm kind of like, you know, blanking out. But basically, you get it. It's where you, st where the uh, pharmacies give you for your medicine, okay? I have a whole bunch of cotton balls and uh, compressed within each other, and they're rubbed in uh, vapor rub. These actually work really well. I saw one guy on YouTube that he used uh, uh, cotton balls with vapor, uh, vapor rub. But the thing was, he rubbed the vapor rub around the whole thing, and he soaked it. See, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to add some of it, but leave a little spot where you can spread it out. It's going to stay completely dry and the spark can catch. It lights it up and it's going to help you out. So honestly, do it. Do it wisely and effectively instead of just wrapping the whole cotton ball inside of vapor rub. I have an extra little compartment. has the same thing, cotton balls with vapor rub. Now, I have another way to fight uh, starter fire. This is my blast match. Uh, blast matches are really, really awesome. Honestly, all you got to do is you know, you press this down against the floor, you push it, boom, spark's made, okay? So since it's right there so close, it's going to catch spark. Like I said, it's it's a benefit in the long run. Another thing I do have, I have in here, let's see, I have some old dryer lint, okay? Dryer lint catches really good, it's some really good tender, and I have a little old uh, lighter. Like I said, you're never going to have enough uses for lighters. I mean, it doesn't really hurt you to have multiple. You can give them out, you can give them to somebody you need. Um, you can use it for yourself, or you can always have them as backups. Here, I have about 150 feet, uh, about, yeah, about 100 feet of power cord. Now, I don't have just one whole strand. What I did was to save time. I actually found this on YouTube. I'm actually going to add uh, the video URL of whoever it was that I found it from. I forgot the gentleman's name, but basically what he recommended was, before you get out there, organize your power cord, okay? What I did was, I cut my power cord into multiple strands. I added... Uh, I believe it was 5 feet, 10 feet, and 20 feet. I did it for one reason. The 5 feet is to tie something small together. 10 feet, if I have to use it for either shelter, I can use either the 5 or the 10 for shelter. And then I can use the 20 feet in case I have to wrap something really big. If I have to throw it up into a tree so I can pull it, have it stored up there. So always try and have everything as bestly organized as possible. Think of the outcome, how you're going to use it. And then try and cut it so you can have it everything organized on your power cord. Power cord is very important. It's very important. It's just as important to have it as organized as you can. I don't have a weapon. I, excuse me. I don't have a firearm. I don't have anything. But it isn't the path. It isn't Dave Canterbury from the Pathfinder's uh, slingshot. But you can go out to your local Walmart, purchase one of these. It's similar to uh, Dave's, but it's not in the long. Uh, you know, in the fact that you know it doesn't have. So you can put your uh, fishing line, or you don't can't put a bow. But you know you can always. Um, you can always improvise, excuse me. You know, it's a very good bow, very, oh God, not, I'm sorry, not a bow. It's a very good flea shot, okay? It has a very good pull, done. You can probably shoot something, a squirrel, a rabbit, anything small game. You can probably shoot something big game, not very big game, but you can probably shoot something, you know, kill it, or just get it in enough time, uh, cut it with a knife. That's it. That's my way of uh, getting a food source, I guess, if you want to call it, apart from my fishing line. Then in here, one thing I do want to highly emphasize is this. When you're out there, when you're bugging out, you want to have uh, another way for your feet. Remember, your feet are hands down one of the most important things on your body. You have to have comfortable feet, okay? You need to have probably at least one or two ways to, you know, uh, rotate within uh, your shoes. Here, I have just a regular pair of old sneakers I used to use when I worked out. These are me out very comfortable when I walk. They're very... Um, uh, how do you say it? 
my, my feet get to breathe easily through here, so I can always wear them no matter what. Very comfortable, like I said. I won't have any issues on that part. Now here is my extra, excuse me. This is my ring gear, okay? This is made so I can throw it on top of myself. It's a jacket and it's a pair of pants. It's all inside of here. Very nice, very, uh, I guess you could say, it, it's kind of like a beige color. You could probably blend in with a bit of the environment if you had this on. I have another form of shelter. It's just a regular little uh, tent. It's not gonna take up a lot of space. I'll probably end up buying something else in the future, but in the long run, it's probably better to have a tent because if there's anything out there on the floor, any type of bugs, anything that might possibly injure you, infect you, uh, you know, bite you or whatever, a tent's always gonna help you. It's gonna help you with mosquitoes, against them, everything. Another, oh no, this is the, excuse me, I was gonna say another sewing kit. I have here just a regular t-shirt. Uh, for those of you who do know, the 511 Tactical, uh, not the 511, Excuse me, the Gerber LMF2 comes with a, a set of uh, leg straps. You can strap it here so you can have your knife handy right there close to your palm. Quick access. So I have this in case I want to have it set up like that while I'm out in the woods. I also have in here, uh, this is a tarp. It's a backpacker's tarp. It's about 5 feet wide by 7 feet long. You can pick this up in your local Walmart for about 10 bucks. It, it's not bad, you know, it's a good investment. It's a, qu a quick, easy tarp to have. If you don't have any other, other tarp, you know, like the ones that a day from uh, Pathfinder School would have, always have another one. I mean, you don't have to have the exact same one as everybody else. You can have your own type of gear. Here is the extra reflective belt that I uh, showed you earlier. This one for be for myself or for somebody else. I also have in here, in a water, comp in a water safe uh, bag, I have some oatmeal. Uh, I'm going to add more things in here a long time, some protein bars, some cliff bars, uh, anything I feel like could help me eat and, you know, I don't have to depend off of nature so much to eat. I also have in here something I think is very good. This is a little brochure from uh, the wild, edible wild plants, anything I can eat that's out there within the North America. Uh, actually, the whole North America it tells you every type of plant. It's pretty descriptive, tells you everything, shows you an actual picture of it so you know exactly what to look for. I also have here... I have a spark, I have a spoon, I have a little knife, and then I have here attached a can opener, and I have a bottle opener, okay? So this is all together, it's all held together by a, by an actual uh, key ring. Like I said, it's all together, all organized, all in one compartment, and then I have here a small knife. This, I'm not going to use for anything else except my food, okay? If I have to skin food, I'm going to have it, it's very sharp. Okay, I can sharpen it with my uh, sharpener that I have somewhere. It's not in here actually, now I just noticed. But I can use this to sharpen everything else, okay? Oh, excuse me, I can use it to cut my food uh, and also process game. I can probably use this knife, the little uh, Gerber that I showed you as well for that. But I want to have certain knives for certain things, you know? Try to have things as best organized. I have here an extra sweater uh, just to keep myself uh, from the cold. And I actually set of socks, some wool socks, and that's actually it. Well, guys, I believe that's actually it. Oh, no, excuse me. Let me show you guys uh, what I forgot. Excuse me. Here I have my first aid kit. Let me, let me move this out the way. Okay. This, I put it in here for one reason. If I want to have it close to my body, as you guys know, with the 72, you have waist straps. Now, on the waist straps, you have molly. So if I wanted to attach this, I can just attach the actual st straps, lace them through, and I have this, you know, quick access, just completely open it, take my medical kit out, and I'm all set, okay? I have my medical kit here, and I have an extra 511 belt. You guys probably think, why do I have a belt with it? I don't have at the moment a tourniquet, so I'm thinking I probably could use this as a tourniquet in the future. You know, wrap it around the legs, plus exactly since it stays tight, I won't have to worry about retightening it or pulling on it, or whatever the case may be. So this can serve as a... A belt or a tourniquet, in my opinion. Probably not the best excuse for a tourniquet, but at the end of the day, it's going to help me as whatever I choose to use it as. Now, inside of my uh, first aid kit, I have an ace bandage, okay, in case I get sprained. Anything, anybody gets sprained. I have here an extra emergency blanket. I should buy more of these, by the way. But it's always good to have extras, like I said. Two is one, one is none. Also have some cough drops. We don't know what type of season we're gonna be out there. Uh, plus, if I wanna, you know, just chew on something, get some flavor in my mouth after having spent several dry days, this could help. 
Probably just drop more inside of uh, an old uh, water that I just filtered. Probably gonna taste nasty, but drop one in there, add a little bit of flavor, you're all set. Now, I have here another watertight uh, uh, pouch, but this one has all my assorted bandages. I have all types of bandages in here, all types of gauges, uh, gauge pads. I wanna keep this dry, okay? I notice I have a lot of bandages in here. I'm starting to think I don't need as many bandages. It's better to be safe than sorry, but I also don't want to have too many. So I might take some of these out and start adding some things. Some things I do want to add to my actual medical kit. I'll tell you now after I finish showing you what else I have. I have here uh, an old pen that I can use as a flashlight. You just simply tap the corner. We'll tap the front and I have a little flashlight, okay? So that can help me out if I want to look at somebody's cut, very, uh, you know, into it. Nothing with a big flashlight. I can have that. This is my surgical steel blade, okay? I can have this to cut somebody, like I said, to cut somebody's wound open, to disinfect uh, after I open it, cut it, take everything else out, all set. Let's see. Then I have here some hand sanitizer, crazy glue for a wound if it's a very excessive wound, I'll dry it out, clean it out, have everything clean, add some uh, crazy glue, put it together. You know, try and get by as best as possible. Some neosporin, antibacterial, some visine, um, excuse me, some tape for the actual bandages to keep them together, a set of uh, tweezers, but the thing with these tweezers is they kind of have like these uh, cuts that go into them, so if I want to grab something very small, it actually grips on it better instead of just like a very flat one. Uh, it's very hard to show you guys this, but I don't think I actually can. Yeah, you really can't see that because it's not that, that good, excuse me, sorry about that. And then I have a small little scissor. Uh, I can use this to cut anything small if I have to cut a Band-Aid. Or, I mean, I could probably cut my nails with it too. Another backup, right? Like I said, it's always good to have more. And then I have here just some, uh, some drops for fungi on your feet. Uh, after a while, you're probably going to get something on your feet. So this will probably help you out a lot. So basically, guys, that's that's my bug out bag. If you guys want to see more, just contact me. Let me know. If you have any recommendations, it's highly appreciated. I know a lot of people like to help others out. So as much as I would like to help you out, your love and your help and support is very, very well appreciated. So thank you, guys. Thank you for watching my video on my bug out bag. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Expect some more reviews on my behalf. I will be getting more into it. So have a good day. And thank you for watching our Booster Survival. Stay safe.